This is Dr. Jason Dulac coming to you from my office in Springfield, Virginia. Today I wanted to talk about implant replacement for a single tooth. In the video right now they're showing the extraction of the tooth. Let's just assume that's already been done and it's healed. The site will look somewhat like this. In the video right now they're showing dotted lines to demonstrate flapping the gum. That typically is not needed for an implant procedure. Usually we just make a small tissue punch right where the implant's going in. There's no stitches, not much healing. At this point, they've shown the osteotomy in the bone, the hole placed in the bone for the implant. This is done pretty quickly, it takes a couple minutes. There's no nerve fibers running through the bone. You can't feel this part at all. Just pre-drilling a hole to receive the implant in the bone. The implant's now being threaded in. Over time, the bone will grow into the implant. At first, it's held in mechanically by the threads. Now they're placing a healing cap. The healing cap's just that little cap that goes on there. You do want to brush that cap. Now they're sewing some sutures being placed. Again, if you were to punch the tissue there, you wouldn't need the sutures. A couple months later, we'd have you back in the office. We'd take off the healing cap, we'd scan the area, and then we'd put the healing cap back on. That would be visit two. Now what they're showing is the third visit where you're receiving what we call the abutment, that's the gray connector piece they just put on the implant, and now they're showing the cementation of the crown. There's no cement in this video, but you would cement this crown the same as you would any other crown on the tooth.